Okay, everyone. Hi. Welcome back to Cooking with the Woodards. Today, we're going to do okra and corn. I'm going to take and cut this corn off of the shuck. Okay? And then uh, off of the uh, cob. All right? So, I'm going to cut it and everything and then... I'll be back and show you what we're going to do with it. Okay, I want to share a secret with you. If you want to get rid of slime, if you're fixing this here, okra and corn. God, doggone it, I cut my pan, I think. Mm. Let me go get me a bandage. Shoes, I cut my finger. That wasn't no joke. This, that knife sharpened in the dickens. It went all the way through the other part. It went from here to here. When I was cutting it open, boy, I tell you that ain't no joke. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna have our okra. You're gonna take your okra. This is this is like a little old country secret. Okay, a little country secret I wanna share with you. Take it and do it like that. Get you three cups of cold water. Put that in there like that. Take and cut your tomato, okay? Get you one tablespoon of uh, lemon juice. Put that in there just like this, okay? Put it in there just like this right here. Put that in there. You let that soak in there for 30 minutes. And what it does, it cuts the slime, okay? Remember that secret. Three cups of cold water, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Let it sit and let it cut that slime in there. Okay, now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to do this here. We're going to take this right here, okay? I want y'all to see this. Take this right here. Pull the shuck off of the corn like this. Okay, just like this here. Take it off. Everything off. Okay? Just like this. Break it down here at the bottom. Okay? Make sure everything is off. Okay? Everything is off. We're going to have to clean this corn on up here. This is okra with corn. Okay? And I'm going to show you how it's done. All right? And when I get everything together here, then I'll show you how done. Let me clean this up right here, and then I'll be back. Okay, now this is the way it goes when you're doing it. You take your corn. You cut your corn off of the shuck, just like this here, okay? Cut it on off, all right? Cut it on off of there, just like this here. All right, so you're going to cut it off. You can either use frozen corn or corn this way right here, which is cheaper than frozen corn. We're gonna use us two cups of this corn right here. I have three of them. They're $1.50 in the store now. So you're gonna use this right here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead on finish doing this corn and I'll be back with you. Now, in this skillet right here, we're gonna do a uh, three tablespoon of bacon up grease, okay? This is bacon grease. This is how you see this. This is how you buy it. Yeah, I'm talking about it makes everything just taste really, really good. So we're gonna use uh, three tablespoons of this. This is bacon grease. We're gonna let that go ahead on and melt. As soon as I can get it out of here. Okay, three tablespoons. We're gonna let that go ahead on and melt, okay? So we have us one tomato to add to that, okay? And that one tomato, you're gonna have this here. You're gonna cut it. You're gonna de-seed it. 
So you're going to take the seeds out of it. Okay? So remove all of your seeds out of it because we're not going to have no seeds in there. Okay? All of the seeds are going to be taken out. So remove your seeds out of the tomato. Okay? Make sure there's no seeds in there. Okay? So remove the seeds. Take all your seeds out. Then we're going to peel the skin off of that. Okay? The skin is going to come off. So make sure you have it. Take the skin off. Off of that. Just like that. Just remove the skin off. Just like that. Okay? You can take this here and boil it a little bit, but... I didn't have time to do that. So I'm just going to take my skin on off, off of here, and then I'll be back. Now I'm on my last little piece of tomato. Okay? So I done got it all cleaned out and I done de skinned it and everything. So after I take and do it like this here, I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to chop it on up. Okay? Go ahead on, chop it on up. Another good way, too, to do it so you can de-skin it real good, just take and stick it in some hot water just to loosen up the skin. Because all you want to do is just loosen up your skin so your skin can be loose. You just get you one large tomato, stick it in some hot water to loosen up that skin. Then you can peel that skin on off of there. Okay, but I had forgot I had that tomato over there to do it. So we like, okay, let's go on and do it this way right here. Okay, but but you take and do it that way and then de-seed your tomato. Alright, that's how you do it. Make sure everything is chopped up really good. Okay, alright, so I got this here already chopped up. So that's a good thing. Okay, so now what we're getting ready to do, we're going to put our garlic and our onion and our grease. And let that go ahead on and saute on up here. See, your onions are translucent. Okay, so what you want, you want your onions to be translucent. Okay? So that's how we want to do this here. Have your onions to where your onions are translucent. And while they're cooking and everything, stir this here on up like this. Let your onions get translucent. Because we're cooking this here on up, okay? Do not burn your garlic. Do not burn your onion. Alright, so as soon as this here gets translucent like this. Okay, let that go ahead on cook up some. Now remember I had my okra. I had my okra soaking in lemon juice for 30 minutes. Three cups of... Uh, Three cups of water to uh, to uh, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Okay. Now I'm gonna put my okra in there and let it cook. And it's gonna cook on up here. And then I'm going to put uh, the remaining of everything else in there. So I'm just gonna let this here go ahead on cook. I'm going to let it go and start frying on up here. As soon as it starts frying, I'm cooking up some. I'll be back. Okay, so now that it's here to start cooking up some, I'm going to take and put my corn in there. This is my corn off the cob. That's going in. My tomatoes are going in. salt and my pepper is going in. And you season this to taste. Okay. So when you taste it and if you see you need a little bit more of black pepper or a little bit more salt, then put it in. Okay, but first taste it. Okay. Now I'm going to mix this on up here. 
And I'm going to cover it. And I'm just going to let it go ahead on and do its thing. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to keep checking it. Okay? And I'll be back. Okay, I want everyone to take a look at this. Look at all the juice that then came up in there. And look, it's not slimy. See that? It's not even slimy. It's cooking good. So when it start cooking like this here, you take, you reduce your, you cut it down. And you just let it simmer and finish cooking, okay? Just let it simmer and finish cooking. Okay, it made more juice came up in there. What you do, you just finish and let it finish cooking. Okay, so let it go ahead on finish simmering on up. I cut it down to about three so we can go ahead on finish cooking, all right? I had it on six, but now I done cut it down to three till it finished cooking. Now I am finished okra with corn and tomatoes and it is wonderful now i put me just a little sugar in there okay if you want some tomato paste in there put your little tomato paste in there either some tomato sauce whichever one that you want to put in there but this is okra with corn and tomatoes okay I'm going to tell you again what I did. I took the I took the okra. I had it three cups of cold water to one tablespoon of lemon juice. I soaked it for 30 minutes. Then I went back and I diced, I took the corn, cut the corn off the cob. You need two cups of corn, okay? That's what you're going to use. You're gonna have you two cups of corn, one and a half cups of sliced tomatoes. You're gonna use you three tablespoons of bacon grease because that's what you're going to cook your garlic and your onion in. You're gonna have you a half a cup of onion. You're gonna have you a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. You're gonna have you one cup of fresh tomatoes peel and deseeded and chopped. You're going to use use some black pepper and salt and it is going to be to your own tasting. Okay? So either you can use uh, frozen corn or you can use the corn off the cob. The corn off the cob always tastes the best to me. So I just wanted y'all to know that and I want to tell you have a beautiful one. Give someone a big hug. And bone of the teeth, baby.